Is our universe 13.7 billion years old when measured only on Earth? Or is this result the same everywhere in the universe? First, let's try to answer this question in terms of the Big Bang Theory. The Big Bang Theory calculates the universe's age based on cosmic microwave background radiation. Cosmic microwave background radiation is a type of observation that measures the temperature distribution of the universe and carries traces of temperature fluctuations in the early moments of the universe. These fluctuations are used to calculate the age of the universe. The age of the universe is calculated by the value of a constant called the Hubble constant. The Hubble constant gives information about the speed and rate of expansion of the universe. Temperature fluctuations in the cosmic microwave background radiation provide information about the expansion of the universe, and this information can be used to calculate the Hubble constant. Data from temperature fluctuations in the cosmic microwave background radiation help us determine the expansion rate of the universe. These data are then matched with different cosmological models that give information about the age of the universe. These models make different assumptions about the universe's size, density, and expansion. Most of these assumptions are based on the Big Bang Theory. Temperature fluctuations in the cosmic microwave background radiation support this theory and indicate that the age of the universe is approximately 13.7 billion years. On the other hand, the concepts used in cosmic microwave background radiation, such as gravitational time dilation, and kinematic time dilation refer to the expansion of time in different ways. Kinematic time dilation is based on the special theory of relativity and is caused by the motion of a moving object. According to the special theory of relativity, as the speed of an object increases, time passes more slowly. This means that if a person is moving relative to a stationary object, the person's time moves more slowly than the stationary object. Gravitational time dilation is based on the general theory of relativity and is the slowing of time caused by the gravitational pull of massive objects. According to general theory of relativity, the force of gravity causes time and space to curve. These distortions cause the time to move in different ways. Near a mass, time passes more slowly while for a distant observer, time passes at its regular speed. Thus, the kinematic time dilation refers to time differences caused by the speed of moving objects. In contrast, gravitational time dilation refers to time differences caused by the gravitational forces of massive objects. The difference due to gravitational time dilation and kinematic time dilation is one in a million. Therefore, any uncertainty in the universe's age due to time dilation is much smaller than the measurement uncertainty of 13.7 billion years. On the other hand, if we give a more general answer, the question of whether the age of the universe depends on where you are depends entirely on which convention you adopt. When you determine the age of the universe according to the synchronous gauge convention, which is widely used in cosmology calculations, the universe's age does not depend on location. A synchronous gauge is a mathematical tool used in cosmology to model the structure and dynamics of the universe. These models use the properties of cosmic microwave background radiation to determine the age of the universe. In synchronous gauge calculations, the properties of temperature fluctuations in the cosmic microwave background radiation are studied. The magnitude and distribution of these fluctuations provide information about the development and evolution of structures in the early universe. To determine the age of the universe, the speed at which fluctuations in the cosmic microwave background radiation propagate through space is used. This speed is determined by the density pressure and motion of matter and energy in the universe. This information is used to calculate the universe's age. According to synchronous gauge calculations, the age of the universe is 13.8 billion years. 
These calculations study in detail the properties of temperature fluctuations in the cosmic microwave background radiation and use information about the structure and evolution of the early universe. These calculations study in detail the properties of temperature fluctuations in the cosmic microwave background radiation and use information about the structure and evolution of the early universe. The other convention used in cosmological calculations is the Newtonian gauge, according to which the age of the universe depends on location. The Newtonian gauge is a coordinate system choice used in cosmology within the general theory of relativity. This coordinate system is designed in a similar way to the principles of Newtonian mechanics. The Newtonian gauge is used in the general theory of relativity to understand the structure of cosmological models. This coordinate system does not use a so-called synchronization condition. Instead, it attempts to model the flow of time using a time coordinate that varies with the expansion of the universe. The Newtonian gauge is particularly used to understand the evolution of large-scale structures. For example, it is used to understand how cosmic filaments and galaxy clusters form in the universe. This coordinate system is widely used in building and testing cosmological models. In short, when you calculate the age of the universe according to the synchronous gauge convention, the age of the universe in the cosmic microwave background is 13.7 billion years, and it does not depend on location. On the other hand, when you calculate the age of the universe according to the Newtonian gauge convention, the age of the universe depends on location. Ultimately, whether the universe's age depends on where you are depends on the convention by which you measure it.